What is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here today, making another video um, a little bit later this time, but just giving my quick report and thoughts about the Chargers Eagles game. Um, the game went pretty much as I expected it to go. A little bit, I knew it was going to be a tight game. Um, I didn't think it was going to be a blowout for either sides, or um, and I did think the Eagles would manage to get away with the victory. But that freaking play from LeGarrette Blunt was um, what I needed to see, guys. It just further stressed this game um, why the Eagles really need to um, rely on the run game more often. Um, the run game looked really stellar today, guys. Um, it opened up the passing game later in the game. Nelson Aguilar had one of the best catches I've ever seen from him. And, you know, Alshon Jeffrey had some good passes. Torrey Smith dropped one, but, you know, he made up for it later. Um, but the best thing I saw was, you know, the run game opened up the offense. It allowed the pass plays to happen. I didn't feel like anything was forced this game. I felt like Doug Peterson's play calling was much more um, on the level. There was the one part where they were on the one-yard line after LeGarrette Blunt ran that amazing, like, 63-yard run. Um there was some questionable calling on the line there, and had the Chargers not got two penalties, um, we might not have got that touchdown, guys. And honestly, we could have lost the game for that reason. Um, he just kept trying to feed it to Blunt, and I didn't understand why. I was thinking, like, just, you know, give it to another running back or do a quick slant or do something like that. But um, he kept trying to give Blunt the touchdown, and it just never worked out. Finally, they went to Wendell Smallwood, and then it worked the first time. So... That was probably the biggest questionable play calling I saw from him. Um, but another thing is the defense got torched, guys. Our pass rush was almost non-existent. We were able to contain the run um, a little bit. But, you know, as soon as Phillip Rivers tossed balls down the field like he was doing, we had just no time to react. And it was just... It was almost like watching that Chiefs game again because right in the fourth quarter there, we let one get away. And um, luckily, we were ahead the whole game. Um, so the Chargers never were able to come back and ever take a lead in that game. But, you know, that's just kind of our defense going forward. Um, I think Jalen Mills and Patrick Robinson are really stepping up now. I think they're getting a lot better, a lot easier and funner to watch, um, especially Mills. Um, he was a he's a seventh round draft pick, so to see him kind of you know taking the role and you know embracing it and trying to prove them wrong, I think is great. He had a great um, I forget the Chargers' names, but he had a great breakup on a pass that would have been a really big gain. But you know he got his hands in there and um, it could have even been an interception. That's how good it was. But um, he did get fried like one time. But you know Jalen Mills, he's done good and. I think once our secondary gets healthy, we get Darby back. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a real force to be reckoned with. Um, but anyway, guys, that's just kind of my thoughts on that game. I'm glad we could get this one over with, and we got the Cardinals in um, Philadelphia next week, and the Cardinals just won tonight against the 49ers in overtime. So um, the Cardinals don't look very good. I have even a better feeling about this game than I did about this Chargers game. So we'll just have to see what goes on, guys. But uh, that's kind of just my video here. What did you guys think about the game? What are your quick takeaways? Um, whatever you think, comment down below. If you like this video, you know, hit the like button. If you want to see more from me in the future, I'm going to be doing more. You can hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, this is Jigsaw0097 here. I'll talk to you guys all later.